everyone welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing another current favorites just because why not i like doing these so here we go i will say that there is less stuff on this list i think compared to the previous one that i did so yeah okay so let's get started on the first category which is food the first thing that i wanted to share with you guys are these plant-based nuggets i will put a picture up on screen so you guys can see what it looks like so it's from this specific brand my older sibling was the one that actually saw this in the supermarket so when i went to do grocery shopping i bought it i tried it and it's so so good i think this is the best like plant-based like chicken alternative that i've tried just because it tastes really good i don't know what it is about the spices but it has a very like similar taste to kfc's like original chicken i don't know if i mentioned this in the previous video but yeah that's the plant-based uh chicken nuggets thing that i was planning to eat with the like chicken sandwiches option anyway moving on the next food is french toast with homemade strawberry jam i've been making this recently just because i bought these frozen strawberries fresh strawberries are just so expensive here so i just decided to buy like a bag of frozen strawberries instead because it's way 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 cheaper so i bought this a uh, bag of strawberries and i wanted to make strawberry jam thing i don't know how to make strawberry jam i just know that you heat it up and you like put sugar in it and stuff so i tried doing something but it still tastes like a little bit sour so i don't really know how much sugar i'm supposed to put in but yeah i've been making this a lot recently i'll try to show pictures of ones that i've made but they're not really that <laughs> they don't look that appetizing so yeah, anyway, it's really, really good. And then lastly, I actually have a thing to show. So this is granola. This is from Daily Fix. It's their berry special granola. And the only reason why I chose this is because it has a lot of like things in it. So this is the granola that I've been loving recently. There's just a lot of things in here and I'll talk more about it later because it's connected to one of the things that I'm going to talk about later. Um, so this has cranberries, cherries, raisins, uh, golden sultanas, sultanas, I don't know how I'm supposed to say that, but yeah, there's also whole grain oats, cashews, and sunflower seeds. Yeah. I've never had cranberries before or golden sultanas, and I also don't even like cherries. Yeah, I just wanted to try it out, and they actually taste really good, so if you're looking for some granola, maybe you'd like to try this one. Okay, moving on to the next category, which is skincare. I have two items here and both of them are sunscreens so the first one that i'm going to share with you guys is this sunscreen from face republic it's their purity sun essence it has spf 50 plus pa plus 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 so yeah this is actually empty i'm using a different sunscreen now but i just wanted to share this with you guys because i think this is my favorite sunscreen that i've ever tried so far yeah this is like definitely my top one sunscreen at the moment but yeah it's empty right now so i'm trying a new one out and so far it's been pretty good and this is the skin 1004 hyaluronica water fit sun serum it has spf 50 plus pa plus 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 i only started using this recently it's pretty good so far haven't experienced any like irritation haven't broken out from this um this also is fragrance free also very lightweight um the face republic one though there is a slight scent there is like this really light like citrusy scent to it but if you're very like picky or you're very strict about not having fragrance in your skincare then the skin 1104 one is definitely the one for you okay moving on to makeup i have two products to show you guys again both of these are lip products because i just i don't wear makeup the only thing that i do use is lip products the first one that i'm gonna share with you guys i don't remember if i've shown this before but i'm just gonna show it anyway so this one is from Detail Cosmetics. It's their Satin Luxe Butter Tint, and this is in the shade Brown Sugar. It's so pretty. I love the color. And it's also the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's very... How do I say this? It's not super opaque, and it's also just very nice and creamy on the lips, and it also smells really good. I don't know how to describe the smell, but it smells like popcorn in a way. I don't know like caramel popcorn yeah that's what it smells like to me the next item this one is from blk cosmetics this is their color adapting lip and cheek oil and this is in the shade sunkiss so this was actually gifted to me by my sister-in-law's sisters so yeah thank you to them for gifting me this i really really like it i've never tried lip oils before so this is a really nice like first experience of trying it the next category is called other here i just put like 
random stuff that don't really have their own like category so the first thing that i wanted to share with you guys are these nail polishes these were in my christmas like wish list thing secret santa wish list thing because these nail polishes they're expensive for nail polishes so yeah i put them in my wish list um these are from the brand curated colors which i believe is a local brand here in the philippines and how i found out about this brand is because i was specifically looking for like sheer nail polishes because it's not really that common but i really really wanted to try sheer nail polish and they had some and about two out of the three sheer nail polishes that they have and this is like the pink sheer nail polish that they offer this is in the color sheerness so pretty and then the other one that i have is in the color chiffon so this one's more white so yeah i love these nail polish um i would say the white one is my personal favorite i found that i wear this one a lot more than the pink one another thing that i really like about these nail polishes is that they don't have a very strong smell like you know how nail polishes have like that chemical kind of smell it's kind of overwhelming to the nose these nail polishes don't have like that strong like chemical smell so i really really appreciate that another thing that i really like about these nail polishes is their brush like look at this they're flat and they're also rounded i really love flat brushes they just make it easier to apply the nail polish and i also like that it's rounded and anything to make putting on nail polish easy is good for me the next thing that i wanted to share is my water bottle i recently got a new water bottle this is from cool ph i believe and this is their 18 ounce water bottle i just got the color black because i like the color black and i also put a sticker on it to make it look cuter this is from playful inks it's where i got my um ears pierced i've been meaning to get a new water bottle because my older one is just it's just old i've had that since 2018 so it's been five years since i've had that water bottle and it's starting to like be gross and stuff so i needed a new water bottle but yeah this has been really good for me i've noticed that ever since getting this like bigger water bottle i have been drinking a lot more water so that's really good for me and then the next thing are my crocs Ta-da! these are the bia clogs i believe is what they're called i love them so much i used to wear crocs all the time when i was a kid when it was popular and stuff and then it became unpopular so i stopped wearing them <laughs> ever since i saw that crocs came out with like the platform ones i really really wanted to get them my mom knows that i've been wanting like these platform clogs i honestly don't really care what kind of like platform crocs because there's like different styles i just wanted platform crocs any kind i just got this like random call from them because they were apparently on sale so they were like asking me like what my size was and stuff so yeah shout out to my parents for getting me my crocs and then lastly in this other category oh i'm so excited to share this with you guys i'm gonna share with you guys my k-pop albums Ta -da! these are the first k-pop albums i've ever bought and it's from the same artist and i only just recently like discovered this artist not really discovered i've known of this person before from like variety shows and stuff like previous things but i've never listened to his music before and the only reason why i checked out his music is because he did a collaboration with nightly and i listened to nightly and i followed them on spotify and i saw their song sharpie in my release radar playlist i just i liked the song i decided to check out the mini album and i loved the mini album and i really wanted to get it the first one that i got because this one was cheaper because <laughs> this is an older album it's also unsealed so this is the first album that i bought this is chong seun this is his first mini album so yeah this is the first k-pop album that i've ever bought and it looks so pretty it looks so pretty and then again the second album that i bought this is the album that i actually checked out that had the song with nightly but apparently the collaboration song that they did is only available online it's not in this uh, cd here so yeah again this is chong seun quiz mini album so yeah i really really like his music and i just i like his voice it sounds so soothing and calming and like comforting it sounds so good so yeah check his music out i also really like um his day mini album and the where is my garden album i'm actually gonna be getting the day album soon i hope um i can't spend any more right now for this month so i'm just gonna get it next month when i can spend again okay moving on to youtube channels so i have 
two channels that I wanted to share with you guys. The first channel is Morgan Long. So I've actually been aware of who she is because she and Christian Jones made a, like a collab video together. And that's how I did like discovered her is through that video. And earlier this year, I just wanted to like check her channel out because I hadn't checked her channel out before and her videos. So um, early this year, I just decided to, to check her videos out. And they're so nice. They're so good. They're very, hmm, how do I explain this? They're very cinematic um they're also very just like calming and cozy and the thing that i noticed um i actually didn't like watching her videos at first because they're very just slow videos like they're just slow paced videos and i'm just used to watching videos that are very like fast paced and like there's like just different clips every single second and stuff and it's just so refreshing to watch i really really like her videos they always have like good messages in them and I also just take away a lot of things in every single video so yeah if you want to watch something nice and cozy and again like just a slower paced sort of video highly recommend her channel okay the next channel that i want to share with you guys is the diary of a ceo channel this is also a podcast but i started with watching the videos here on youtube early this year first and then i found out that they had um the podcast on spotify so sometimes i would listen on there when i'm like cleaning and like doing other things but i started with watching the like video versions um on youtube so i started with that and that's why i actually like i uh, got this like granola thing because one of the episodes that i watched i think it was with oh no what is his name but it's with this guy scientist person what's his name i think his name is tim specter let me just check because i'm not sure i think it's tim specter yeah it is okay so i watched the podcast that he did with tim specter and he was discussing things with like the gut and stuff and and one of the things that i took away from that podcast is that he recommended to eat like 30 different plants in a week i was like oh that's so interesting he mentioned that like the average person eats 10 to 15 in a week which is not that much and he recommended that uh we eat 30 in a week and i was like i feel like that's a lot but and then he started talking about like the different like foods and stuff I was like oh right like i didn't even think that that would like count like those are plants too like like herbs i didn't like those weren't the things that immediately come to mind when i think of plants like i think of like fruits and vegetables first and then like legumes and beans and then that's it but herbs are plants those count and also like grains and stuff as well so like rice so that's why i got this granola so that i could have like more plants in my diet so this one has seven different plants in this one granola and this is just one meal he recommended 30 in one week and like i said in previous videos i do eat mainly a vegetarian diet even though i am a pescatarian i do try to just eat mainly a vegetarian diet so right now i'm trying to increase the amount of plants that i eat in a week because right now i currently average at around 20 so i'm trying to get more plants into my diet because you know it's gonna help with your gut and with like your digestive system and all that stuff it's just a good thing to take care of your gut okay let's move on to tv shows and anime unfortunately i don't have a lot to share in this category just because i haven't really been watching much anime lately and even tv shows as well um i guess right now for tv shows I have been re-watching Hospital Playlist. It's my favorite K-drama of all time. It's just it's so good. If you like um, like slice of life type of series or like even, I don't know. It's like, it's slice of life, but there's also like a bit of drama because it's also kind of like a medical slash hospital drama. So there's bound to be like some like sad moments and like happy moments and like all of the like stress and anxiety and all that stuff but there's also like very light-hearted bits in the show and like comedic parts as well so i just think it's very nice and balanced and it's just like my my type of show that i like it's weird because i actually really like action-packed k-dramas um, i usually lean more towards that because i think that's exciting and more entertaining more fun but there's just something about hospital playlist that's just like it feels so nice to watch and it's just like very heartwarming 
I guess, is the word that I'm looking for. But yeah, highly recommend hospital playlist. And then for anime, I haven't been watching anime actually. Um, the only thing that I have been watching, and I only started watching this like a couple of days ago, is I started re-watching Yakitate Japan. Um, I found this channel on YouTube that has all of the English subtitles of the whole show, so I've just been watching it on that channel. I just wanted to re-watch it because it's a nostalgic show for me. I remember I used to watch it when it came on the TV here in the Philippines. I don't remember, I think it was, I think it was ABS-CBN who had it on their channel and it was with the Filipino dub. So yeah, I just remember watching it when it would come up on TV and I just wanted to rewatch it again. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and you found some new things to try out and new things to check out. And yeah, I love making these videos. I just like sharing stuff that I like with you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.